Hi guys! Today I'm going to continue with a couple of examples finding the derivative of a function using the formal definition of a derivative. In this video I will be focusing on square root functions and we're going to be using the same formula as before. Alright, so now let's take a look at our first example. So we're going to take a look at the function f of x is equal to the square root of 4x plus 3. Now we want to find the derivative of this function, so we're going to say that f prime of x is equal to the limit as h approaches 0 of f of x plus h, so we're going to sub in x plus h everywhere where we see an x in our original function, so we get the square root of 4 times x plus h plus 3, and now we're going to subtract f of x, which is the square root of 4x plus 3, and all of this is over h. So now in our next line, we're going to expand the terms inside the square roots. So we're going to end up with the square root of 4x plus 4h plus 3 minus the square root of 4x plus 3. And all of that's going to be over h. So now we're going to do a little trick. We're going to multiply by 1, but we're going to do it in such a way that we can cancel out some terms. So we're going to multiply by the square root of 4x plus 4h plus 3 plus the square root of 4x plus 3 all over the same thing as the numerator. So 4x plus 4h plus 3 plus the square root of 4x plus 3. So now on the next line, when we multiply all of this out, some terms should cancel. So the first one, we get 4x plus 4h plus 3, because we can take the square root sign off. Our middle terms are both going to cancel because one will be positive and one will be negative. And our last term will be 4x plus 3. We just take the square root sign off. Now on the bottom we multiply h by the denominator of our second term, so h multiplied by the square root of 4x plus 4h plus 3 plus the square root of 4x plus 3. Now we can cancel out some terms, and now on the next line we are left with 4h over h multiplied by the square root of 4x plus 4h plus 3 plus the square root of 4x plus 3. Now we can cancel and evaluate our limit as h approaches 0. So we're going to sub in 0 everywhere where there's an h. So we're going to be left with 4 over 2 multiplied by 4x plus 3. And that's the derivative of our original function. Now if we want to find the slope of the tangent line at any point, we just sub in the x-coordinate of that point into our answer. Now before we go into our second example, I recommend that you pause the video, try out this on your own, and then look at the answer and check if you're right. So our function is going to be f of x is equal to the square root of 3x plus 2. So now we're going to find the derivative. So f prime of x is equal to the limit as h approaches 0 of f of x plus h, so we sub in x plus h everywhere where we see an x in f of x, so, and then we subtract f of x all over h. So now on the next line, like last time, we're going to expand the terms inside of the square root, so we're going to say the square root of 3x plus 3h plus 2 minus the square root of 3x plus 2 over h. And we're going to do the same trick as last time by multiplying by 1, but in this case we're going to multiply by the square root of 3x plus 3h plus 2 plus the square root of 3x plus 2. All over that same numerator, so the square root of 3x plus 3h plus 2 plus the square root of 3x plus 2. Now, we're going to expand all of this out by multiplying, so limit as h approaches 0 of 3x plus 3h plus 2, the middle terms will cancel again, and then subtract 3x plus 2. All of this will be over h multiplied by the square root of 3x plus 3h plus 2 plus the square root of 3x plus 2. So now we're going to be able to cancel out some terms. On the top, we can cancel out the 3x's and the 2's, and we can also cancel out the h's on the top and the bottom. 
So this is going to leave us with the limit as h approaches 0 of 3 over the square root of 3x plus 3h plus 2 plus the square root of 3x plus 2. And now we can evaluate the limit as h approaches 0. So we're going to sub in 0 everywhere where we see an h. And we're left with 3 over 2 times the square root of 3x plus 2. And so that's our derivative. And once again, if we want to find the slope of the tangent at any point on the curve, we just sub in the x-coordinate of that point, and it will give us a slope. So I hope you were able to follow this video and gain some math knowledge along the way. If you are currently in a calculus class, you might want to subscribe to this channel because I'll be covering a lot more calculus in some upcoming videos. For now though, you can check out some of my previous videos about the formal definition of a limit and some examples. As always, feel free to ask any questions in the comments.